All right, so I'm back again. Uh, this is Dan Classic, and we are gonna make the Spectre um, from ClassicTVToys.com. I got all the pieces I need. Um, I have this white body. I've already removed the hands um, because I will be replacing them with green hands for his green gloves. I have uh, next in the bag this uh, green cloak uh, with hood. Um, this should work out pretty well. Um, also, I have his, uh, his green hands, as uh, I mentioned previously, and then um, his green uh, little underwears to wear, because we are making the uh, Golden Age, Silver Age, fucking whatever age Spectre, not Hal Jordan, not fucking the New 52 piece of shit Spectre. Um, we're making the, the real Spectre, or trying to, to, to approximate him. Here is a white head. He has a little uh, thing on it. We're gonna, we're gonna look at that here in a second. Um, these are the closest boots that I could get. I'm probably gonna look for another pair of boots for him, but for now, these pirate boots, these green pirate boots will do just fine. Um, and we'll leave his little white hands in the bag because we're not gonna, we're gonna need those. Well, maybe we'll use those on another project. Who knows? Maybe somebody will need some white hands. We'll, we'll see later. Okay, so we've got everything out. I'm gonna try to put it all together. Um, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is put his hands on because that'll that's gonna be the easiest thing um, to do here. Um, one of the easiest. Uh, they should just pop, they have little holes in there. Um, I pop the, the little white hands out, pop the little green hands on, and um, he's gonna have green hands. Um, so it should not be the hardest thing in the world to put on there. Um, you might want to heat these up or whatever before you do it. Um, I didn't do that. I don't give a shit. It, it works just fine. Um, I didn't have to do that. Now, um, I will have to figure something out about putting the head on because this is not an S-type body. This is the uh, the old school um, figures toy company Mego style fucking body that's got the dumb elastics inside of it. It's going to be a huge pain in my ass um, to put this head on there. Now, um, here's a little stem for the head. And here is the head itself. This goes in like this, and it should pop right into the head. Um, I'm gonna have to heat this up to get the head to go on there properly. Um, so I'm gonna do that here in a minute, but before I do that, what I wanna do is I wanna glue these two pieces together because if I should be fucking with it at some point and pull the head off, this part will fall into the chest and I'll have no choice but to take it apart to try to get this out and I'm not sure if I'd be able to if there's a hole big enough anywhere on the on there for me to get it out um, otherwise so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together luckily I have some uh, Gorilla Glue right here that I found in a drawer uh, downstairs so um, let's go ahead and get that glued together bear with me a moment while I do that okay so I was able to find some super glue and get that head glued on nice and tight so it shouldn't be going anywhere once we get it inside the body. Now, let's move on to the problem of the body. Um, the hole, of course, isn't made large enough to get this thing through there. Um, you really have to apply a lot of force. Um, but luckily, what you can do is if you heat this up hot enough, it'll get soft and you should be able to cram that in there. What I'm gonna do right now is I've got my blow dryer. I'm going to uh, hit it with the blow dryer, get it hot, get it nice and soft, and, uh, and get this head attached. So um, stand by while I do that. Okay, so now he's uh, almost complete here. I've got the head on, nice and good, attached there. Um, and uh, there he is. Um, so this is the body, and all we gotta do now is put the clothes on. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to try to see if the boots, if there's a left and a right one. Um, doesn't look like there is a left and a right one. They just look like a couple of boots. They could be this way. They could be that way. We don't have a... That looks like the outside. 
<laughs> they both look like the outside side. So fuck it, let's get these boots on. <laughs> wow, these are really loose. Well, they'll be easy to take off when I find a uh, proper replacement um, pair of, of fucking boots for my fucking Spectre. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, figures toy company? Jesus Christ, these things are all supposed to kind of work together. Um, this white body is very skinny, um, but you know what? We gotta, gotta do what we gotta do. We'll work with what we are given, and uh, and then that's what we gotta do. So finally, we're gonna go ahead and attach this cape, which is very nice, around the neck. And get his hood up properly. And um, this cape, these capes are great. Um, it has like a little wire inside of it, so you can kind of do different uh, stuff with it. Um, I want to make sure that the face is a little bit obscured. But, you know, and we'll fuck with them a little bit and get them um, looking great. But it only took a little bit, you know, if it wasn't for trying to put that fucking head on. Um, man, this is pretty cool. Here it is. He's the Spectre. We made him um, from pieces that we got from ClassicTVToys.com. It's the DC Spectre. There he is. The Spectre!